It's a wonderful Monday indeed. And you know, whenever I see clients at my practice, of course, this is what inspires me to do the next video. Today, I want to talk about something that I think we all, we all suffer with or go through and we can resonate. Just say, I have this wonderful phone in front of me and I like it so much and it means so much to me that, you know, I can't go to sleep without it. And when I wake up, this is what I obviously need to go through. This is our daily lives, isn't it? And when it's taken away, it's stolen, it crashes, it falls, it, it, or something happens, snatched away, then what happens? I am heartbroken, I am affected. Uh, it affects my mood, it affects how I feel. All of those things start to happen. Why? Why is that? Now, when I talk, I use the cell phone as an analogy, but that happens with things, with people, with experiences. Um, it, we, we, we have it with everything, so to say. What do you think it's called? It's called attachment. And what exactly is attachment? Attachment equals a, an, a certain amount of emotion. Now, I'm going to explain that a little bit. You see your skin? What would happen if we had to remove that layer? What would happen? Would you experience joy or pain? Absolutely! Horrific pain! And that's what attachment is all about. Attachment equals pain. But, for example, if you're not attached to something and it has to go away, like this ring, no pain, it's fine. So try and remember that when we feeling very much attached to people, that's when our pain will come, not just people, things, experiences, also the idea of how life should be or the idea of how a relationship to, should be also creates that certain amount of pain. Now remember, if I show you my four fingers, right? Just say they stuck like this, they glued. How much can they actually move? Not much. But if we spread it out and there's movement, that's freedom. And freedom allows everybody to breathe, to be free, to be who they're meant to are to be. So try and catch yourself and ask yourself, do I actually have this? Am I suffering from any form of attachment to people, things, emotions, experiences? What is my level of attachment why how do I let go what will letting go then mean as well and just remember that when we try to be attached to things it's because we fear we fear losing it and when we're able to detach then we are trusting when the wackle of Allah whatever is best for us will come to us will remain for us and only what is best for us will come to us so have that firm belief and try and be able to breathe let go and step into a space of allowance that's my message for you on this wonderful Monday. Until next time, bye for now.